I'm kind of upset. Why? Because the judge in the LBRY case, which basically forced the SEC to say that secondary sales were not securities, has no balls. You know why? Because John Deaton called him and asked him on his position in secondary securities, and he basically backed out. So he is afraid of the SEC. This is a very, very disappointing news. Now, he did not say secondary sales are securities, but now uh, Ripple won't have this baseball bat to go, uh, Ripple and Coinbase won't have the baseball bat to go see. This judge said secondary sales are not securities. He basically, when he was asked and pushed, he was like, I do not make any, I do not take any stance on whether secondary uh, sales or securities or not. So we lost a bit of ammo, unfortunately, and that could be important. Now, it's not all roses for the SEC because I think the main purpose of uh, SEC versus LBRY was to go against a weak opponent, have the case resolved, and use that as, in, uh, as ammo against co cases like Coinbase and XRP. And they did not get that because the SEC probably wanted the judge to actually rule that secondary uh, markets were securities so they could go after that. But the judge made a distinction between primary and secondary markets, and he says he has no opinion on secondary markets. It's obviously a very, very weak stance, and I think he backed off in bulk from his original stance because like, he, he might have gotten some letters from the SEC or he just might have felt the pressure from governmental authorities, whatever. But I'm hoping one of these judges actually has the balls to actually rule against the SEC, at least in terms of the secondary market. The primary market, I can understand why it's a security. The secondary market, definitely not. So he did make a distinction between primary and secondary markets. That's good. So the SEC can't come and say, see, this judge thinks that uh, secondary markets are securities because he didn't rule either way. But he f just came down with this today. And I thought that we were going to be able to use this ammo against the SEC. Ag the SEC was obviously hoping to use this as ammo against us. It seems like that neither of these two things are going to happen. I think the judge was leaning towards siding with crypto, but I guess he eventually cowered in the face of the SEC. I hope Judge Torres does not do the same thing, and I hope whoever is ruling on the Coinbase thing does not uh, rule in the, uh, the same principle. Now we'll have to case. Now we'll have to really fight this and see what the judges say, because there is no sim, uh, precedent at all. Because the judge refused to kind of take a side on this. He basically punted the matter to Torres or whoever is ruling in the Coinbase ruling. So it was definitely a bit of a disappointment for me. Not a gr big setback for the lawsuits as a whole for Coinbase and Ripple, but I was really hoping for a stronger statement that would basically put the SEC on the back foot, and we did not get that from um, the LBRY case. It finally resolved fully today, and the judge just refused to take a side because that's not always being litigated. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button, and let's hope that some of these judges actually have some balls to stick it to the SEC.